tonight. I want everyone to stand up just for a moment. Just stand up if you can. And I want you, I'm the third speaker, I want you, if you're standing, to take one step to your left. One step. One step to your left. Immediate left. I want you to turn around. Turn around. All the way around. All the way around. And take one step back to your right. One step back to your right. And I want you to be seated. Before this presentation is over, I want to make sure that you know that one of the speakers moved you. <laughs> the second book that I wrote, I actually finished this in May, and this book is called Now is Your Time, Nine Steps to Reach Your Full Human Potential, where I talk about human performance and human potential. And this book, actually, I won the award of Author of the Year for Advantage Media. It just released last week. I'm actually on the front cover, and they did a whole spread about getting to know Robert Lemon. Mr. Les Brown and this organization have been getting to know me for almost 10 years. And I want to share with you the principles that they share with me has taught me how to increase my income and increase my value and worth. I brought with me tonight, I brought a ship. And I want to talk a little bit about the entrepreneurship. This ship that I'm using as an example it's going to help you because it's helped me reach the lives of millions and millions across the country. Just this year, my wife and I, we were in Boston, we were in Kansas City, I went to Wisconsin, and I want to share with you, I went to Wisconsin, I was the only African American in the airport, the only African American in the hotel, the only African American in the conference. I teach diversity, I teach leadership and time management, but most importantly, I teach people how to reach their full potential. So I was on Trinity Broadcasting Network a few uh, weeks ago, and I was talking about the mentorship in our communities, how each one should reach one. Mentorship is about a process of us becoming professional speakers. And what I share with you right now is that every time I get up and I speak, I always talk about success. But there's some people going through hardships. How many of you are right now going through difficult times, going through hardships? Some of you, you're looking for an answer. You want to hear something that's going to promote you to your next level. Well, I'm going to share that with you. You know, a hardship is okay to be going through a hardship. Get on the ship. It's better to be on the ship with all the tough times and all the trials and tribulations in your life than be lost in a storm because people are literally committing suicide. Yeah. So get on the ship. The ship that I'm talking about, it starts with mentorship. It starts by having someone be a mentor in your life, like a Les Brown, like a Dr. Tina Dupree. Having a book who's co-authored by Jack Canfield, who's endorsed by Mr. Zig Ziglar. And all these other people who have been mentors in my life, I got on the ship. I, I thought it was important not only for me to help myself, but to help others. And I had my son who was in college, and I'm going to talk about him going through a hard time. It's in my book, in the ninth chapter. His name is Terrell. And Terrell is also here with me. I'm proud to say that he graduated college. Miami was number one in the nation for poverty and number one in the nation for murder. But Terrell survived and got a college degree, and now he's giving productive, productive influence in our society. Some people get through tough times, even hardships. I'm going to read. It's a letter he wrote. It said, Dear Mom and Dad, sorry it's taking me so long to write. I would have written home sooner, but my stationery was destroyed the day the demonstrators burned down the dormitories when Syracuse won the national championship in basketball. I'm out of the hospital, Mom, now, and the doctor said my eyesight should be back to normal sooner or later. A wonderful girl, Jill, who saved me from the fire, well, she kindly offered to share her studio apartment with me until the dormitory is rebuilt. She comes from a good family, so you shouldn't be too surprised to learn we're going to get married. <laughs> In fact, Mom and Dad, I know you always wanted to have grandchildren, so you should be real happy to learn you're going to be grandparents next month. <laughs> Mom and Dad, please disregard the book practicing the English composition. There was no fire. I haven't been to the hospital. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't get a girl pregnant, and I don't even have a girlfriend. But I did get a D in chemistry and an F in biology. I just wanted to make sure you receive this news in its proper perspective. <laughs> Love, Terrell. <laughs> the ship that we're talking about is a sonship and a daughtership. We all have children. We have to love them. Am I right about it? Yeah. But we're going to take it to the next level. You have a sonship. You have a daughtership, you have mentorships, an entrepreneurship, the championship. Look at the person next to you and say, if everyone were like you, there'd be no need for me. I am 
Somebody. Somebody. Look the person to your right and left. Say, everybody. everybody. Loves a winner. Loves a winner. I, win. I win. You win. You win. We, win. we win. On the entrepreneurship. Clap it up for coming to a motivational presentation like this, and I'm excited about it. I'm very excited about it because it tells me one thing. The reason why I'm so successful, I was sponsored by Barbizon. I spoke for part for free. And then all of a sudden, I got a call. My first speech was a $500 speech. Somebody say, wow! wow. Somebody say, wow. wow! Say it backwards. Wow! All right. But then the next time, Someone heard about me. I was invited back to Miami Dade College, the college I started and I didn't finish. And they paid me $2,500 to go in and talk for two hours to 150, all seven colleges. Somebody said, wow! wow! Somebody said backwards. Wow! Wow, I'm on the right ship. You know why? This is a sponsorship. Do you know who created this ship? Some of us don't realize, all of us don't get on the same port together. But we're going to end up in the same destination. I don't know, we're going to the championship. You see, when you learn how to love yourself, you can love somebody else. And what I found out, that we have to have love in the room where we worship. Yeah. Worship is love. Yeah. You know, if you learn how to worship, if you love humanity, if you love your sisters and your brothers, if you love your community, you can't look down on anybody. You see, you got to be on the right ship. Human performance and potential is very important. It's not how did he die, but how did he live? Now, what did he gain, or what did he give? These are the measures to measure the worth of a man or a woman who's got of birth. Now, what was that station? Now, how's that hard? But how are you going to play your God-given part? Every day you wake up, four things remind you that there is God. The mineral kingdom is the richest. But the plants grow from the minerals. And then the plants, they have to die because the animals eat the plants. Then the animals, they die because they have to survive by us eating them. If you're vegetarian, you like pocketbooks? You like shoes? Ladies? <laughs> But as I close, I'm going to leave this with you. These five principles I teach in corporate America and college, I teach in community and Christian environment. Five things that the Creator given each and every one of us to succeed. You have to remember the light, write it down, gives you the ability to see. Entrepreneurs have to follow the light. Secondly, you have to remember the water gives you a quench of your thirst. He says the deer panting for the water brook. My soul panting after you. And then number three, fire gives you that inspiration to go after what you want in life. And number four, you have to take a deep breath. As I heard Stacy say earlier, you have to take a deep breath. Learn how to love yourself. Learn how to say, I can. Learn how to say, I will. And then finally, the earth. Everything has been given up for you to achieve success. Everything has been given up for you to achieve success. And I'm going to see what you do with it. Success for me was not the day that I was born. The success for me was not the day I graduated high school, the day I got a $30 an hour job or got $10,000 to speak in a community. Success was not the day my children were born. Success was the day that I made up my mind that I refused to lose and I was never going to be broke another day in my life. Success for me was the day my family and I, being from the neighborhood, being born poor, born so poor I couldn't afford to pay attention. <laughs> See, I grew up wearing Reeboks so long. How many of you ever seen a pair of Reeboks? Wore them so long that the R-E-E-B fell off. Shoes were just okay. Holes in the bottom were just okay. My shoes used to hip hop and pop and talk in tongue, but they were okay. The same young man who had a dream and a vision, he told his family he was gonna come out of the ghetto until they get more, because the house that I lived in I paid it off in 12 years, and we stayed there until the right moment and the right time. And when we moved in that house, I had a dog, and I closed by leaving you. He reached his full potential. His name is Tiger. When we first got him, eight weeks old, he came home. I said, Tiger, how are you doing? He said, rough, <laughs> rough, rough. Two years later, we moved into a 4,200 square foot, big million dollar house overlooking the lake. I had football players as my neighbors, and they said, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> and I said, Tiger, how are you doing? He walked up, he said, the roof, the roof, the roof. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, future corporate America, all stars. You're in the right place at the right time, and I encourage you to stay on the ship. God bless you all. Have a nice day.